Hey, 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 YouTubers, welcome back to Galactic Gaming. This is Hatfield15 reporting for duty, and today we are here with what I expect to be the final episode of Metroid Prime. Last time we played this game, I had returned the artifacts to the um, artifact temple, and uh, we fought Meta Ridley, and we beat him on the first go, surprisingly, considering how uh, how badly some of the other attempts have gone with him in some previous games. I mean, I only died once in other M, but anyways, I've been desperately, desperately waiting to uh, do the final episode of this for a while, and uh, I originally wanted to do this live, but the live streaming software on my computer is extremely crappy, and, uh, yeah, if you guys remember what I did say in the end of part one of the finale, I did say that whether the finale was live or not, I was gonna make sure we go out with the bang, so, yeah, as as I am to say, it's, it's gonna be the last episode of the game, um, you must, there's the old saying, all good things must come to an end, and that end is right now, so just where we begin, you guys, can this video please hit 15 likes, and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed, please be sure to smash that subscribe button if you want a shout-out. I may not have made out of giving a shout-out to this previous person, but nevertheless, I want to give a quick shout-out to he Hero. So if you're watching this, thank you for subscribing and stay tuned for more. It's Final Destination or nothing, you guys, because without further said, we're all systems go for part two of the series finale in three, two, one. Here we go. If you guys want to go check out part one of the finale, be sure you go check out the description below and leave a like and a comment on it. Oh, whoa, there's a whole bunch of those uh, little guys. Okay, there's something right here. Okay, there we go. Let's get a scan on these little guys. Alright, Morphology, Lumigek, Phazon Charged Reptiles. Natives of Talon 4, the Lumigeks travel in swarms to increase their odds of survival. They absorb and radiate Phazon energy, making these swarms a threat. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, what the heck is this stuff down here? Oh, well, that's not what I wanted. There's a whole bunch of uh, stuff here. Limited data on unknown material available. Material is highly radioactive. You will take damage from direct contact. Mutagenic qualities are at least 86 times more radioactive, I mean, greater than Phazon. Unshielded bio bioforms below index level P will suffer a fatality within moments. Okay, so... One, this Phazon is the type of Phazon that our suit probably wouldn't be immune to. I mean, our Phazon suit's only immune to the blue Phazon, which is what the data said when we first got this. So this would be an example of the type of Phazon we're not immune to. My god, holy crap, these are a lot of Lumigex. Well, they do, they did, they did just say they travel in swarms. Alright, I'm just gonna open fire. Hopefully they don't uh, travel across all this uh, orange Phazon here to uh, try and kill me. My god, if there's one thing, if there's one thing that I already don't like about the Impact Crater, it's the music, man. Like, the music is just, like, creeping me out. It just sounds so creepy. Actually, I'm just gonna let you listen to it, uh, for a moment once I have cleared out all these Lumigex. Ah, come on. Come on, die. We have a schedule to keep. We don't have forever. I wonder where they go when they grow into all that Phazon. Well, they do absorb the Phazon, so, yeah, stuff must happen. Uh, I'm not sure how many more Lumigex there are gonna be. Alright, that should be the last of them, so... Hep, ha! Okay, there was one more. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, okay, we took a little bit of damage, but I suppose it's not that bad. Alright, listen to the music for a moment. See? Th isn't that creepy? Isn't that freaking creepy? Again, there's all this uh, phase on here, so I'm not sure... Well, there's... It's the Impact Crater. Hmm... Metroids! There's fission Metroids here. Of course, they've been getting into all this phase on. Now I'm gonna wait till he... Boom! There we go. We gotcha. Now, power beam. Quickly now. Oh. Uh, boom. Power bombs away! I didn't want to have to use my power bombs, but I guess we have no other choice right now. Okay, uh, that guy wasn't dying for a moment, but now he's dead. Uh, hope there's not too many fission Metroids here. Why is it that a lot of structures and the thing, like, everything look here looks like, like, uh, it's just a whole bunch of Phazon and bones. Like, it's just really creepy. Boom. Okay, we missed. Ah, uh, boom. We didn't miss that shot, did we? Uh, I don't know why. We could instant, we can one kill, we can one hit, one kill some of the Metroids, uh, like the Fission Metroids, but we can one hit, one kill uh, some other, oh! Hi, you know how to bend around corners, don't you? That quite honestly startled me. I didn't think he'd be able to travel around corners at the speed of light. Now, I might want to keep my Ice Beam handy, because there's probably going to be more Fission Metroids with my luck. Yeah, definitely, we definitely do not want to step in all that phase on. And then there's that one big bubble right there. Oh, crap, there's one right behind me. Uh, come on, you want to... Oh, crap, 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 um, power bomb. I didn't want to have to, have to use that, but I just, I want to try and run through this as fast as I can, because I don't want to have too many uh, Fission Metroids latch onto me, and I don't want to turn around because I might fall off the platform into that all that uh, orange phase on because as we all know that would be bad then again like I did I just like I just did say uh, yeah our suit is immune to the effects of the blue phase on meanwhile this stuff is 86 times more radioactive so there is a missile station right here but oh my god that is a lot of phase on then for some reason there's all these little fishies right here 
Well, I'm pretty sure they're phase on fish now, but missile stations, I know we have only had to use you like maybe four or five times throughout the whole game, but nevertheless, thank you for your service to Galactic Gaming, and you will be remembered. Now, I'm going to try and not use any of my uh, ice spreaders on those fission metroids, because I want to save them for the final boss, so let's switch it to that. Oh, I think one of them, I heard a scree from, I heard a little scree off in the distance, so, yep, there he is. I was, uh, I knew there was going to be a, thought there was a fission metroid after me, but there's one. Oh, uh, crap, I think more of them are coming for me. Yep, it's a little fission metroid party over here. Uh, come on, I'm going to have to go, I'm going right in for them. Boom! Okay, there's a, a red one, so... Okay, there we go. One thing I like about the Red Fission Metroids is that they could be uh, one hit, one killed. I mean, that's another thing I like about the Plasma Beam. It's like so easy to one hit, one kill a bunch of these guys. All right, now I'm gonna want to try and attack these Metroids from a distance, but I again not wanting to have to use my Ice Spreader because that takes up a lot of missiles, and I'm wanting to save them for the uh, final boss, which should be not too far ahead. Uh, come on, yep, come on, taste ice. I know it's your natural uh, nemesis. I wouldn't call it a nemesis. It's your force of nature, I should say. Ah! Ah, crap. I didn't want to have to use another power bomb, but eh, I guess here we are now. Alright. Ice spreader? Alright. I see a little bits of phase on fly around when I kill them. Hup! Hup! Okay. There we go. We're gonna want to move fast in case more of his uh, friends show up because, uh, you know, there's probably never enough Metroids, so this might be another episode of Metroid Malarkey if I feel like naming it another episode. Alright. We made it past that. There's one Metroid behind me, but I'm ignore him. Okay, so it looks like we have all these magnetic rail systems, so for one last time, you know what time it is. Spider ball, spider ball, does whatever a spider ball can. Magnetic rails, gliding along, dropping bombs, all about, look out, here comes the spider ball. ba -na -na is it cool? Yes it is, especially with new suit designs. Power bombs, kill everything, forcing enemies to resign. Hey there, there goes the spider ball. There goes the spider ball! There we go. I think that was a great send off for such a good upgrade. Okay, net right through this next story, you guys, is undoubtedly the final boss of the game. So I just want to take a moment to uh, thank you guys all for your support over the last uh, seven months. Uh, it's all come down to this. So whether you've been subscribed for a long time or the right, or that you just subscribed over the course of the series, I just want to say a nice big thank you. So it's all come down to this. And it's uh, just like I said in the beginning of the video, all good things must come to an end. So with that being said, we are all systems go for the final boss of Metroid Prime in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, here we go. Oh my god, that is like a big scary face. Oh, okay, this music's obviously foretelling something big. Okay, the hatch is locked behind us, so there's definitely no way out unless we kill this thing. Seriously, a lot of the things like here look like teeth. Like, those look like freaking dinosaur teeth. Alright, just don't move and maybe it won't notice you. Oh my god. God, that thing is huge. All right, there's that big ugly face we've been waiting all series to see. Oh, wow. Now that is a big boy. I've heard this thing is actually literally called the Metroid Prime. I mean, how is that anything related to a Metroid? Hey, hey, you get back here. You get back here, you nutcracker. We have a fight to do. How is that? Again, um, okay, here we go. Here's a cutscene. All right, the final battle begins right now. All right, but first we go and scan you to see what your weaknesses are. Morphology, Metroid Prime, highly evolved Phazon producing life form. The aberration known as the Metroid Prime is the source of all Phazon, making it immensely powerful. A genetic flaw makes it susceptible to certain pe weapons for brief periods. Its head is the only tr is truly is, is only its head is truly vulnerable. All other attacks are a nuisance. Offensively, Metroid Prime has a number of natural and mechanical weapons at its disposal. These include ultra frigid breath, missile, multi missiles, snare beams, and particle wave projectors. Its massive strength and and barbed carapies make it lethal in melee combat. Recommended maximum firepower when engaging this enemy. Alright, the maximum firepower is one thing, is the one thing that's gonna get out of me. Alright, so it started off as yellow, so it's uh, vulnerable to the power beam. Oh! Oh, wow, I think it did a little bit of damage to me, but we just, uh... Oh, hi! You get back. Okay, it's purple now. Oh my god, we that super missile actually did a lot of damage. Now it's uh, purple now, so it's way vulnerable to the wave! Yo, oh, wow. Bone structure, you protected me from this uh, Metroid Prime beast. Okay, so if I hit it anywhere other than the head, that's just gonna bounce right off like that. Wow, that's this dude is not uh, definitely not your friendly neighbors. Um, okay, can I have a little bit of personal space? Thank you. I really like some personal space if I want to make it through this entire game without dying. I, I really like that we can use the bone structures to uh, defend ourselves from it. 
down. All right. Um, oh, okay. It's just digging another hole. So as I was saying, how is that anything remotely really made it to a Metroid? I mean, Metroids are the little floaty, sucky things like we just encountered. But yeah, nope. Apparently there's this thing right here. All right. Actually, now that I think about it, this sort of it sort of resembles a Gamma Metroid because if you guys know the regular evolution of Metroids, there's that Gamma Metroid. Oh, hi. There's those uh, multi missiles that our visor mentioned. So we might want to dodge those. All right. I'm, I like how we do a lot of damage so far. Oh. What? Oh, there we go. We got him. Now, there's these conveniently dug morphal spaces. So, okay, but there's that charge attack, which I've been aware of. And uh, boom. There we go. Oh, wow, we got him. Okay, it's, it's white now, so that's going to be something with the ice beam. Now, I have heard that the ice spider actually can freeze the Metroid Prime for a little bit, but I don't want to use my ice spider too often. So, yeah, just for redundancy's sake, let's go ahead and freeze it. Uh, all right, now it's going to do that charge attack again. So, thank you. Protect us, uh, Morph Ball. Oh, wow, that back leg was pretty close to hitting us. I mean, I would call it an arachnid, but it has uh, seven legs, not eight. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, now there's these uh, orb-looking things. Now, I heard that these do a lot of damage, so we want to get rid of those. Oh, hi. That, I think that hit me. All right, there's that. Oh, dang it, it got me again. Uh, Juan Bego, that'll punish, that'll teach you for messing with Samus Aaron. Now, curling up into my ball again. All right, it really likes to dig holes, doesn't it? I guess uh, one of its hobbies is digging big holes in the ground as it's uh, being fought by the bite mess bounty hunter in the galaxy. Now, there was a uh, energy refill right there, but I suppose that don't matter. Let's see, what are these rooms called? Sun Chamber 3, 2, 1. Wow, this is actually pretty cleverly named. Oh, oh, hey, hey, no, let go, let go. You gotta let go of me, buddy. I'm resisting. I'm resisting with all I can. Uh, come on. Come on! Come on, I'm not gonna be able to fend it off for much longer. Come on, come on. Ah, uh, oh wow, I think we actually dodged them. Wow, well, I was resisting that um, snare beam with all I could. I think it's, I think it's that, I think that's a snare beam, so. Uh, 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 oh, oh wow, I wanted to dodge that, but unfortunately we couldn't, so it's gonna screw up my visor, and it's gonna screw up my visor again. Boom! There we go. Now, that, that's gonna punish you. I'm just gonna keep punishing you for messing with Samus Aaron. Like, you don't know the true power of uh, heroes like Samus. Boom! And boom! Come on. Okay. Oh! Oh, hi! Oh, hi! Well, okay, I think we dodged those missiles. Well, we did, because I don't think I have taken any damage. Um, my god, can you stop summoning these orbs? They're getting a little distracted, to be honest with ya. Now there's, uh, alright, I thought that was an energy refill, but no, nah, it was a missile refill. Okay, there's a couple energy things right here, so, Morph Ball, protect me! Well, I don't, I don't know why these, uh, Morph Ball trenches are so conveniently hidden. Alright, we have it down to half health. Okay, um, oh, no, not again, not again! My god, those, those, the green snare beam launchers, they look like eyes, in my opinion. Alright, okay, I, I would say we, I was about to say we lost the tank, but that's just, uh, our, our full tank. I was gonna, okay, I don't, I didn't think that I would hit him for a moment, but I, I guess it did, so, uh, ah, there we go, we dodged you. Now I'm gonna try and sneak a shot in here before it switches. Yeah, there we go. Alright, ice beam. Oh, hi, is it gonna do that thing again? Okay, it is gonna do that thing again. Yep. Okay, it's, uh, ice beam, so we're gonna wanna move fast. Uh, okay, it's red now, so it's gonna be the plasma beam. Oh, hi, okay, I think those are gas bombs, I don't wanna... Okay, holy crap, we set it on fire! Wow, we're actually doing a lot more damage than I originally would've expected. Man, those four, like, front eye thing... Oh my, okay, it spit lava! Oh, oh wait, I was... I don't know why we, it was doing damage to us if we weren't in it, but I guess that was, like, the lava doing damage. Oh my, okay, it's digging another hole. I'm surprised at actually how much we're doing. I thought this would take uh, a few minutes longer, but... Eh, I guess it's nearly dead now. Okay, here we go. This should be the last uh, room we're going to be in, so here we go. Last stand against the Metroid Prime. All right, wave beam. Come on. Oh, oh, come on. I real, I wanted to dodge that. We're doing, we're actually doing pretty good with health. Uh, I, I thought we, I thought for sure we would have lost a tank or two of health by now, but hey, look at me. I guess I'm wrong. Uh, boom. Okay, and uh, when the visor goes offline, I guess that screws up my uh, lock-on ability. Uh, oh, hi. Hi. Okay, I'm just pressing B because I heard that's my excuse for sense move in this game. Oh, okay, that bounced off. Mm, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wow. Man, it's going nuts with these ballistic weapons. All right. Do you like my wave beam? I like how the wave beam actually locks onto the targets instead of just uh, going in one straight trajectory. So, oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, oh, I was not. I wasn't ready for that. I should have known when it was uh, crouching up like that. All right, there we go. Oh, wow, we set it on fire. Now, protect me, Morph Ball Space. So, such conveniently dug, isn't it? 
Now, uh, look at me in the face as I shoot you. Okay, oh wow, it's a power beam now, so we're gonna wanna sneak a super missile right in there before it does whatever it's gonna do. Oh wow, that actually bounced right off of him. Oh, oh wow, it's uh, not doing good. All right, there we go, we got him again. So, hide in our little morph ball space. And, there we go, okay, we just, uh, we crawl curled right beside his leg. Okay, oh wow, that bounced off. He switched, uh, he switched things, uh, he switched elements, I should put it, right the, at the moment we, uh, um, uncurled. I mean, we shot him with a super missile. Um, that's what I should say. Okay, okay, crap, there's those things! Oh no, okay, okay, I thought he was gonna charge for a moment, but I guess not. Oh my god. He's quit switching weapons for one second, dude. Oh wow, oh my god, we've only lost, like, we've only lost... We're not even, wait, we haven't even lost one full tank of health yet. Well, uh, we're about to. Oh, okay, nope, never mind. We're not going to lose that tank of health because that um, blob thing just, uh, that energy refill just refilled instantly. Oh, okay, it's still ice beam. I thought I switched to power beam for a moment. Oh, wow, we got to want to avoid those gas bombs. Oh, did we kill it? Oh, holy crap, we actually killed it. Um, yeah, I'm going to guess we have to follow it down that hole. So I just want to check and see if there's any uh, refuels for me to grab first. Nope, okay, apparently not. Okay, this is definitely getting good, guys. That was actually a pretty good boss battle, but I, I have the feeling it's not over yet. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that looks like a pretty deep hole. So let's see what the future brings us. Wow, you just stick that landing like a boss, because this is Sam Saren. Well, we found what's left of it. Oh, more music? Okay, so of course this is a conform to it. Now that looks a bit more like a Metroid. Well, it looks like a Hunter Metroid to be exact, but here we go. The real final battle begins right now. Now, of course, we're going to scan you, see what you're um, called. Morphology, Metroid Prime, the core essence of the Metroid Prime. Scans indicate that the Phazon energy form of Metroid Prime is invulnerable to all conventional weapons. Only attacks from a Phazon-fused arm cannon will damage it. It generates pools of Phazon when it attacks. Use these to fully your suit's Phazon weapons. System. Oh, does that mean we could finally use the Phazon Beam? I guess so. The entity can also spawn Metroids to assist it in battle, rendering it in self invisible when it does so. Alright, so that being said, I might want to have my uh, Ice Beam handy for it. Now I'm going to have a lock on it so I can scrape around it properly. Oh, wow, it has uh, Shockwave uh, abilities, I see. Now I'm going to go around, carefully collect all this uh, stuff. Oh, okay, it's uh, charging up another Shockwave. Okay, this, uh, oh, hi. Um, no, can, you, can I have my personal space? Thank you, Mr. Metroid Prime. Oh, oh, there's a pool of phase on there. I was about to say a pool of Metroid, but that wouldn't make any sense. Okay, so I have no, I noticed a distinct pattern. It switches to uh, um, X-ray, then thermal, then uh, regular vision. All right, time to see what the phase on beam can do. Oh my god, this looks strong. Oh man, I wish I could see it in regular vision. Oh wow, that actually did a lot of damage. Holy crap, I, re I really want to see that in uh, regular vision when it gives us a chance. So as I was saying, I have been aware of this phase for a while, and uh, when it's, it goes invisible, I have noticed a distinct pattern. It goes to x-ray vision, then thermal vision, and then uh, regular vision. All right, it should show up at any second. Okay, yep, there it is. I thought I uh, went back to regular vision, but I guess not. All right, okay, that phase on looks uh, pretty hot. So does uh, Metroid Prime. And taste my, taste my, oh, whoa, what's going on? Oh, the Phazon pool's over there, dang it. I didn't know what was going on for a moment. Taste my Phazon, Metroid Prime. My god, I really want to see this in regular vision when it gives us a chance, uh, hopefully soon. Oh my god, we do, we actually do a lot of damage to that Phazon beam. Imagine if we could use it um, in other earlier points of the game, that would be awesome. Well, I have seen people hack the Phazon beam into the game, but that's just hacks, and nobody likes hacks all day. Okay, it's returning. Um, yep, there's a couple Metroids right here. Uh, uh, boom. Okay, there we go, that, they're dead. Let's see what this Phazon beam looks like. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. This is the coolest beam ever. Holy crap. This is definitely the coolest thing. And too bad it doesn't last forever, though, because holy crap, it's still cool. Oh, my God. We need only, like, a couple more uh, Phazon pools, and it is dead. Hmm, this is actually a much easier boss fight than its previous swarm, and, uh, yeah, it's just doing shockwaves and roaming around the place. Uh, the Metroids are pretty easy to spawn, so hopefully I have some... Yeah, I have four power bombs left, so that should be enough to take down any Fission Metroids if they show up. Now, I'm just uh, having my Ice Beam ready for when he spawns damn Metroids. Oh, wow. Stay back, foul creature. Man, this is actually pretty cool. Um, what, in Thermal Visor, I gotta say, he actually kind of... His head actually kind of looks like Mega Mind, uh, with, uh, except with some, uh... With some, uh... Uh... 
the tentacles is what I was going to say. My doubt that uh, Hunter Metroid was going nuts for a sec. Now, X-Ray Visor, there you are. There we go. Taste my mighty Phazon Beam. Yeah, again, it really sucks we couldn't use this earlier in the game, but I guess we can use it now. Oh, crap. I think we need one more. One more dose of Phazon. Okay, no, maybe two more. I thought it was down to here, but it's down to here. So, just a couple more um, Phazon pools, and it is done as dead. This, I really do like the music, though. I mean, the Impact Crater music was definitely a little creepy, but... Eh, yeah, it's still cool nevertheless. I, I think I should, probably should have checked out the um, Metroid Prime, like the exoskeleton of it, in, uh, in other visions. Uh, Vision Metroid? You can go um, power bomb away. Oh my god, that Hunter Metroid went a little nuts there. Okay, um, we went to hyper mode for a moment. Uh, there you are. Taste my phase on. Yeah, I bet your own. Uh, I bet your own substance doesn't taste good, does it? Oh yeah, baby. That's how we do on Talon Four. I didn't think that was gonna be the winning kill, but I guess I was wrong. Oh wow, it's having a major spaz attack now. Holy crap, we actually killed it. I thought I could go on for a little longer. Oh, it kind of looks like an X-Parasite now. If you guys have played Metroid Fusion, you guys would know what I'm talking about. Okay, what's it doing there? Oh, oh no, it's trying to eat us. Uh, I know it looked tasty, Metroid Prime, but I am honestly not that tasty. Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Oh, ah, uh, well, there goes my phase on suit. Then again, I was starting to miss the gravity suit. Uh, yeah, if I were you, Samus, I would strongly recommend we get out of here right now. Crater collapse imminent. Evacuate immediately. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious. Is there gonna be another gonna be another escape sequence? Okay, maybe not. I would have enjoyed another escape sequence. Holy crap. This is it guys. Oh wow, holy wow, things are still exploding. Oh, there's our ship. It's coming to save us. Save us ship with the leap of faith! Oh my god, everything is just exploding, even though oh wow, that looked like a pretty big explosion. My god. God, that's a lot of fire. I'm surprised. It, the rain's taking a long time to extinguish it. Holy crap. We did it, Samus. We did it. We saved Talon 4 from whatever evils lurk beneath the impact crater. Oh, okay, she took off her helmet. Okay, so this is the part where Samus is revealed to be a girl for those who didn't know she was a girl. Well, Samus, it's definitely incredible to look upon your own achievements, uh, of seeing what you've done. It's definitely cooler without the helmet at all. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, let's just get out of here and uh, let's go before some debris flies up and kills us from the explosions. And that's the end. Okie freaking smokey. There you go, guys. That's the end of Metroid Prime on Galactic Gaming. So, roughly seven months ago when I uh, started playing this game, I didn't think I was going to like it as much as I like Super Metroid, but holy crap, was I ever proved wrong. So that being said, this game has left a quite good impression on me, and uh, Super Metroid is undoubtedly a classic, and it will always have its uh, place in my heart, undoubtedly, but... Yeah, I must say, this is very interesting that uh, back in 2002, uh, they decided to bring the first-person aspect to Metroid so that uh, now you can play the game through Samus' visor. No, I, this definitely took longer than Super Metroid because, uh, yeah, there's more area to explore because it's all, like, 3D, so that's uh, one good thing to like about this game. So, yeah, if I had to rate this game maybe um, 1 out of 10, I'd put it at around 8.5 because there are some things I would improve on, but other than that, this was such an awesome game. Um, there are definitely some different things, like... Like, uh, some of the upgrades, like the grapple beam, it's not an arm cannon upgrade like it is in Other M, for example. It's, it's like a, it's like the own separate arm thing, so, yeah, and then the, um, space jump, instead of, uh, continuously somersaulting in the air, it would, uh, just let you do double jumps. But meanwhile, the big thing I want to talk about are the beams. Now, in other games like Other M, when you collect a, uh, beam upgrade, or at least when Adam authorizes one, uh, the beam adds on to your basic beam, so in the end you have this one super powerful beam, and, uh, yeah, meanwhile, in this game, they're all their own separate things, so you gotta actually switch uh, to the different beams and stuff, and they actually have their own elements. I mean, the power beam and the ice beam pretty much stayed the same, so I don't think there's any change I would point out to them, but the ice beam and the plasma beam definitely... Oh, no, the wave beam and the plasma beam is what I wanted to say. I mean, the wave beam does, sadly doesn't go through walls, but it's definitely good for paralyzing enemies and locking onto stuff like the Metroid Prime. Meanwhile, the plasma beam, it's pretty freaking powerful. That way, we can just one-shot enemies whenever we please. Wow, I really do must say, this has been what had a cup of game, but it's not over yet. Well, the first part of the trilogy is over, because I'm playing this uh, on the download for the Metroid Prime trilogy, so... Yeah, next Sunday, June 4th, tune in to the first episode of Metroid Prime 2 Echo. So I'm very, very excited for that. Again, definitely a lot of things were different with this game, but I really must say, I have really enjoyed this game from the very start. 
Uh, I'm not sure if there's anything else I would like to change. Okay, no uh, staff credits, uh, just all the producers and stuff. Ah. Now, I'm really not sure what else to say. Again, 8.5 out of 10 for this game, because, again, there are some things I would change, and, uh... Yeah, there's definitely a lot of backstory to this game, like, uh, between all the Chozo lore and the pirate dialogue, there's definitely a lot of story to it, so I may or may not put out a video a little bit later, um, describing, breaking down all that lore for ya. Okay, there's Mike Fukuda, I've seen his name before in the end credits for Metroid games, so, yeah, there's definitely a lot of, uh, again, there's a lot of Chozo lore and pirate dialogue, which adds on to this big backstory, and, uh, again, I might put out a video maybe, um, later today or tomorrow, and just, uh, talking about all that, uh, talking about all that backstory, because I've seen some of the data, and it is actually really interesting. <sighs> Again, as sad as I am to uh, say goodbye to this game, there's definitely a few more things to look forward to, like our final stats, and oh my god, that's the end of the Chris. There are a few things I would say about this game, but I, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else there would be. Alright, so, all rights owed by Nintendo, that's obvious. Oh, okay, it's now the cutscene. Well, Samus, looks like our job here is done on Town 4, so it's time to head off to the next mission, which I believe the mission on the, is on the planet called Aether. Oh my god, okay, apparently her ship has light speed. That's a good thing to have, right? Yeah, of course it is. Okay. Ooh. Wow, I really like this music. Alright. This is, this is awesome music. Everyone, just dance party. Okay, dance party is over. Okay, let's see. Mission final. Percentage complete. 100%. That's pretty good. Total time. 41 minutes. 40, 14 hours and 41 minutes. Yeah, this again, this definitely took longer because there's more area to this game. Uh, God, because it's like 3D and all. Uh, again, there's not too much else I can say about this game. Uh, yeah, I just want to give a nice big bro hug to everyone who supported me over the last series, whether you've been subscribed before I started Metroid Prime or whether you subscribed uh, just recently. Thank you guys so much for your support. Again, as much as I wanted this to be live, uh, I think I still we still went out with an awesome game. Hyper Mode Difficulty Active. Okay, I might try that on my own spare time. So, yeah, there's a couple more things I gotta say before I sign off here. Um, yeah, as soon as I am to say good, knowing that this is a uh, goodbye to Metroid Prime, uh, again, we're, we have Metroid Prime 2 Echoes, which is starting um, next uh, Sunday, so tune in next Sunday for the first episode of Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. And again, like I said in the beginning of the video, all good things must come to an end. And uh, sadly, but triumphantly, that end is right now. So, with that being said, that concludes Metroid Prime. That's about all the time we've got today, so thank you all for joining me today. Be sure to subscribe, leave comments down below, because I like them, and crank that like button to the max like Soldier Boy. Till then, I'm Hatfield15, and I will see you guys in the next mission. Space out, bros and brositas!